What's up, guys? This is just going to be an off-topic video, kind of related, I guess. Um, I haven't, I know it's been a little bit since I put out a video, but reason being, I finally upgraded and I got an actual camera. All right. Got an actual camera. Um, so that requires a couple more steps, which is taking the recording off a memory card, putting it into my computer, into an editor, yada, yada, yada. And it doesn't make it so simple anymore. It's not streamlined. So, but this one I'm taking on my phone because I just want to toss another video up here because it's been a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's talk about a couple things that's going on. This guy, um, I just did a water change so you see all the bubbles. I finally added the CJ Whale 500 and it's it's doing good. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but it's working good. And then besides that, I got this guy. So this is gonna be in the next video. Um, when you kind of go a little bit into it. Um, I guess I wanted to do a planted another planted tank, but my super reds are, you know, they're just consistently spawning and I need a bigger spot. I'm going to put some another row of Ks in the bottom. I don't know how it's going to work, um, but we'll see. I mean, fingers crossed. I mean, everything looks good. Probably going to do one more water change because it's not as clear as I want it right now. Still a little cloudy from all the, the gravel and stuff. But the thing I'm excited about is my new paludarium. So I can't take credit for building this. I acquired this from my buddy who's moving away to Florida. Um, I added the fogger, but see it's got a nice waterfall. It funnels into the basin. You can see that there's a bunch of tannins. I just did a water change yesterday to try to clear them out. But yeah, I mean, look at that. It's actually really nicely set up. Got some asparagus ferns, um, a weeping something, and then I just tossed in some guppies, see how they fare. It's been a few days and they're doing fine. Also acquired more plants. Uh, what else? Oh, this guy. So the lights are off because I'm battling cyanobacteria. It's the blue green slime algae like you see it really good on that guy like it's horrible and i knew something like this was gonna happen because there's just so much nutrients in this tank because i've got the layer of pond soil and then i've got a whole buttload of fluval stratum and it's just i mean i i did probably three water changes um in one week just to try to get rid of those excess nutrients but it hasn't been working too well so i I bought, I bought something like a chemical to add to the water to kill that. It's been almost 48 hours. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it's just doing a little bit, but yeah, not as fast as I wanted to. The other thing I've been working on um, is I'm to show you this guy. So I did a IKEA greenhouse hack. Um, I acquired two of these Detolf cabinets. Um, they were pretty set up. But I, I just, you know, leveled it up a little bit and then um, added my plants in there. Got some more plants. Got this nice Thai constellation. I know this looks ugly, but the white parts, you know, it will inevitably start to burn just because there's no green to photosynthesize the, the lights. But, yeah, here's that, guys. Super excited about that. Um, I don't know. I feel like planta tanks was a, a gateway drug to house plants just because, you know, everybody knows pothos. Um, I've got a bunch of my tanks. I've got some up there. Um, this guy, of course, is popping off, propagating those. Yeah. Let me show you guys. Okay, so here. This is kind of what I transfer them to grow out so I can just scoop them and sell them. Um, but my lemons, man, you can see they kicked out another clutch of eggs. 
I don't know if he's sitting on any still, but those guys are popping off. And then we got my Super Reds. He has uh, more fry in there right now. They are at the wiggler stage. But these guys, you know, yeah, they're just they're thriving. I think that's, that's really it. So big things I want to do is I've got that six-gallon cube um, tank from Petco, which is right here. Uh, it's technically been water tested, leak tested for probably a couple months now, but I want to make another mini version of this. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, biggest downfall about this tank was there was just way too much real estate just used up on the terrarium aspect. I want to have it where it's more aquarium, less paludarium, less terrarium. I don't know if that makes sense, but just more, more water volume. This water line was probably two inches lower, probably where it should have been. That last step right there, that's supposed to be a fall off into the water, but I wanted more water volume, so I raised it, and that just, see if you look right here, it's supposed to start right here. But that just seeped into all the, the plant substance, the moss, the dirt, and it, uh, overloaded the tannins. So hopefully we can switch that. I do want to get these Madaka up in there just because they're pretty much full grown now. Um, I saw one of them had eggs hanging on her. I don't know where she is, but I think they're big, too big now to keep in this bowl. Uh, there she is. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with this bowl after. But these guys are still doing great. Um, still definitely not warm enough outside to even think about putting putting this outside yet. But soon. I feel like next week we're going to get into the 70s. Um, I mean, it's May. But we've still been having pretty crappy weather. Um, yeah. So I definitely do want to do a lot more. Oh, there's... There's my lone Betta in the 40. She's in there for now because she was fighting with that one. Um, obviously, because space is too small. But I got to figure out what I'm going to do with those. I think that's it. I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update video. I know this past month or so, it hasn't been a lot of videos. Um, just a lot of things taking up my time. I know the whole plant thing was unexpected uh, and it just got too crazy, which I think, you know, it's kind of goes hand in hand, similar with aquariums, you know, but multiple tank syndrome, I don't know. I mean, for sure it's like a multiple plant syndrome, but they are pretty expensive. Um, so a lot of my money has been going there recently, but I am trying to reel it in do have a lot more projects I'm trying to get done in here. I just finished that 40, 40 breeder project, which I've been putting off for way too long. Um, but I still got to get the filter on here running just because it's still running on that 10 gallon hang on back. And I think not enough flow is definitely contributing to the cyanobacteria. So we're going to get that fixed. CO2 is still running like a champ. Um, I don't know how much is left, but it's probably been about a month, almost a month. It's probably been a month, and I know the pressure pressure gauge still looks like it hasn't moved, so that's good news. Um, but I think that's it, guys. Definitely going to get more into it. I've got to organize this fish room, and hopefully by the weekend, the next video should be out. All right. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon.